o kia ora e hoa, hara mai, come and join me. I'm trying to work out which story we're going to have today. This book has, let me see, and here in the front, one, two, three, four, five stories to choose from. You might know some of these already. They've been around for a wee while. Grandpa's Storybook Collection by Joy Watson and Wendy Hodder. Five stories about one of New Zealand's favourite grandpas. There's Grandpa's Slippers, Grandpa's Cardigan, Grandpa's Shorts, Grandpa's Shed and Grandpa's Cat. And <laughs> Check these slippers out. Grandpa's Slippers. They look a bit rough, don't they? Shall we have this story first, do you think? It's the first one in the book, and it starts the whole series off. Yeah, let's have this one. You're nice and comfy. Ready for a story? Well, let's begin. On Monday, Grandma looked at Grandpa's old slippers. You need new slippers, she said. Those are going to fall to bits. Nonsense said Grandpa. My slippers are fine. <laughs> are his slippers fine? <laughs> no, they're falling to bits. But they have holes in their soles, said Grandma. Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. Grandma's trying to get Grandpa's slipper off. Nevertheless, Grandma bought him a new pair of slippers that day. Grandpa refused to wear them. On Tuesday, Grandpa was cleaning out the cupboard under the stairs when he came upon his old slippers, hidden away in the darkest corner. Look. Does he look happy? <laughs> no. Leave my slippers alone, he told Grandma. Don't try to hide them. They should be hidden, said Grandma. They're going to fall to bits. They have holes in their soles and the stitching has come undone. Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. On Wednesday, Grandpa was just in time to see Grandma handing his old slippers to a person collecting used clothing. Right here. <laughs> Poor Grandpa. Hey, leave my slippers alone, he told Grandma. Don't try to give them away. They should be given away, said Grandma. They're going to fall to bits. They have holes in their soles, the stitching has come undone, and the fluff has worn off. <laughs> Look at Grandpa's face. One grumpy Grandpa. Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. On Thursday, Grandpa went to check if the rubbish bag had been put out, and there, right on the top, were his old slippers. <laughs> Look at his face now. <gasps> Look, Grandma's cheeky, isn't she? Do leave my slippers alone, he told Grandma. Don't try to throw them away. They should be thrown away, said Grandma. They're going to fall to bits. They have holes in their soles. The stitching has come undone. All the fluff is worn off. And I can see your toes. Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. On Friday, Grandpa took some potato peelings out to the compost heap. There, not quite covered by a cabbage leaf, were his old slippers. <laughs> oh no! Please leave my slippers alone, he told Grandma. Don't try to bury them in the compost heap. 
They should be buried, said Grandma. They are going to fall to bits. They have holes in their soles. The stitching has come undone. All the fluff is worn off. And I can see your toes. They are so tatty. <laughs> Look at them. They're looking really tatty now, aren't they? Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. On Saturday, Grandpa was just about to set fire to a pile of leaves in the garden when a sudden gust of wind revealed his old slippers. In the leaves? Oh, no. Oh, no, said Grandpa. And he told Grandma, once and for all, will you please leave my old slippers alone? Don't try to burn them. Very well, but they should be burned, said Grandma. They're going to fall to bits. They have holes in their soles. The stitching has come undone. The fluff has all worn off. And I can see your toes. They're so tatty, and they look very uncomfortable. Good, said Grandpa. That's how I like them. On Sunday morning, Grandpa got out of bed and was about to put on his old slippers when they fell to bits in his hands. <laughs> oh, no. Look, he can't put them on now, can he? He had to wear his new slippers instead. They had whole soles, strong stitching, warm fluff covering his toes, and they looked neat and natty. Grandpa was surprised to find that they were actually very comfortable indeed. He was very pleased. And so was Grandma. On Monday, Grandma looked at Grandpa's old grey cardigan. You need a new cardigan, she said. <laughs> and guess what the next story's called? Grandpa's cardigan. Oh no! <laughs> Did you enjoy that story? I did. It was very funny, wasn't it? If you want to find out more about Grandpa's Storybook Collection by Joy Watson and Wendy Hodder, you can visit scholastic.co.nz or I bet you can find it in all good bookstores and all libraries as well. Oh, this is such a good storybook. Five stories all in one. Thanks for coming to join me. I love reading with you. I hope you enjoy it too. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Come back for more. Ta kete. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs>